welcome to the Texas Cannabis Collective weekly update for the week of November 26, 2022. I'm Jesse Williams. This past week has shown disappointment for cannabis advocates as three cities have borderline refused to enact their cannabis decriminalization measures. Denton, Killeen, and Harker Heights city councils have all voted for either putting to the wayside, against, or in favor of their decriminalization measures, with the city still having pushback on the measure. Denton appears to be the first to stand out, the city manager likely being the most vocal about non-enforcement of the ordinance. Sarah Hensley, city manager of Denton, told the mayor and city council in a memo that the city does not have the authority to implement some provisions of Proposition B without changes to the current drug laws by Congress and the state legislature. Tristan Siegel of Decrim Denton noted to the Texas Cannabis Collective, this is definitely an unprecedented and defiant response from city administration. But we're confident with the majority of Denton voters backing this, we're in a very strong place to advocate for the full implementation of this ordinance. The City Council of Denton did vote to approve the passing of the ordinance 6-0, to but City Manager and the Police Department have since refused to recognize the change. Likes and subscribes go a long way to helping others receive cannabis news updates in our state. You can also subscribe to our newsletter at txcannaco.com and search for Lone Star Collective Podcast and Texas Cannabis Collective in your search engine to get updates about our show and weekly news. Our news updates and podcast are sponsored by Oak Cliff Cultivators. For more information on Oak Cliff Cultivators, visit oakcliffcultivators.com. Support also comes from Thrive Apothecary. For more information on Thrive Apothecary, visit thrivetx.com. Clean and Harker Heights residents face a different situation with their initiatives in front of their city councils. Harker Heights decided to completely repeal the decision cast by voters at the polls. The council voted against the measure with a 4-1 to final vote. Councilwoman Linda Nash was the only member that voted to keep the ordinance. City Attorney Charlie Olson gave council his legal opinion on why the ordinance should be repealed at the end of the citizen comment period. He noted, it places limitations and burdens on their conduct, Olson said. It essentially targets police officers. Olson also noted that he believes the ordinance violated separation of powers between judicial and legislative branches. Several members of the community spoke for and against the measure that was in front of the council. Julie Oliver, Austin attorney and co-founder of Ground Game Texas, helped get the measure on the ballot, and she also spoke for keeping the ordinance passed by the voters. Oliver noted that in 2019 legislative session, Texas legalized hemp, and because of that, the marijuana decriminalization ordinance should stand to protect those who use legal hemp. She noted, legal hemp is indistinguishable from illegal marijuana. Please let the voice of the people stand, Oliver said. Gerald F. Dreyer, a retired army surgeon, voiced opinion against the measure, noting that he believed that the area's military readiness might be compromised by the marijuana ordinance. It's a military community. We should have higher standards, Dreyer said. Clean City Council has not voted against it, but has not accepted the measure either. Some members of the council had concerns about the language of the proposed ordinance. Clean Councilman and former Mayor Jose Segarra said he was concerned about the ordinance prohibiting police from using the smell of cannabis as probable cause for search and seizure. The councilman then suggested eliminating this provision before approving it. The city council in Killeen agreed to put its decriminalization measure on hold as elected officials will then weigh whether to repeal, amend, or greenlight the ordinance that passed on election day. What I know is that the people of Killeen voted overwhelmingly for our police to stop arresting people for small amounts of cannabis. David Bass of Texas Veterans for Medical Marijuana said, we should listen to the will of the people of Killeen. Clean Chief of Police Charles Kimball said he was pleased with the decision to put the ordinance on hold. I'm really proud of our council members because it showed they wanted to make sure they get this right, Kimball told KCEN Television News, because this is an issue that affects everyone in our community. I think we're going to get it right for the citizens. There's not a set date the council has noted to return to the measure that is publicly posted as of this recording. That is it for this week in cannabis news here at the Texas Cannabis Collective. If there is something going on in Texas cannabis space you think others should be aware of, just drop us a note on our contact form online. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at txcannaco.com and search for Lone Star Collective Podcast in your search engine to get updates about our show and weekly news. Likes and subscribes to our YouTube channel for updates as well. Have a safe week, Texas, and stay warm, my friends.